Hello to everyone. How are you today? This is Joanna and today should be, let me get this straight, it is Wednesday and I'm coming to you with a video today on an item that I purchased that came Saturday which is that Nespresso coffee right here and as you can see I'm going to share with you some of what's going on in there. I went to Bath and Body Works today to pick up some hand gels and to get one of the 99 candles that I always seem to want but the purpose for the hand gels was because I have a friend whose birthday is this month she lives out of town in Pennsylvania and I got her a gift and I wanted to include within that gift a few hand sanitizers I think three are for her two were going to be for me because I don't really know her scent preference on hand sanitizers and even when I sent her those um, body sprays that one Christmas she seemed to like them but she'll sometimes tell me she likes something even if she don't but I always make sure I send her something she can exchange but this time I wanted to give her a little more thought felt gift and I have to get a card tomorrow I'm also planning on getting another cart. Y'all know that I have the blue one and I said I wanted two silver ones. So I plan on getting that one for my non-Bath and Body Works type products, uh, my shower gels and my lotions that match. I don't have a humongous set of those, but like that OGX coffee one and the Shea one is in the bathroom, but I do have a Dove set um, that is a lotion and a body wash. And I also have... I'm a St. Ives set, so we'll talk more about that when that time comes. Also, I want to share with you the Macy's order and the second coffee order and share what this is about. And then we've got a little bit of Target. So I'll share the Bath and Body Works last. I'm going to start off with why I went into Target, though, to begin with. Y'all know that these cups released this month on, what was it, the 22nd maybe? And I was able to get this one. And our Target on Burkhart still has plenty of this one. But it was that darker berry one that I wanted. And it's on eBay for $37 to $39. Those are the cheapest two that I've seen. But I keep holding out hope. Because after all, we did get those glasses minus the ombre that we didn't get before when we got the blue ones. But guys, I was so upset over these cups that why did I pick an argument with somebody on eBay? I did. And I say that I picked it because... I had on eBay, I've only sold three things, you've heard me say that, but I had on eBay two bears and a Kai body wash, which I took down prior. So all that I had left up there was the 50th anniversary gold cup. I had that up there. So I asked them, they had that one that's been dubbed the 70s baby, that psychedelic one. And I said, why did you go and buy all these cups so that you could charge $65 a cup for a $19.95 cup? I did ask that question. Um, and they sent back that little emoji with the eyebrow bent, kind of like the rock face. And they had my three items copied in the photo. Is this you? And I said, yes, that's me. I said, but unlike you, I'm not on here as a seller on the regular. So they sent me a smart message back. And I said, here's the difference between me and you. I said, those two cups that I have up there, those 50th anniversaries, I bought two extra in addition to the one that I had. I said, I didn't go in the store, stand in front of somebody and buy all the cups up so that I could get on here on eBay and overcharge for them the way that you did. I said, it's clear as a bell. You purchased all your cups so nobody else could buy them and slapped them up on eBay for $65. I said, the difference between me and you is my cups just went up there. They didn't go up there the day that I bought them. I decided I wasn't going to use them that I would just keep the one and I put them up there versus sellers like that. And sellers like that, guys, they're wrong. They went into the store, bought all these cups up, and now we can't get them. And I just don't like that. I did realize that I was wrong for picking that argument, but I could not help myself. So I did not find my cup, but we're going to start with my coffee here. As you can see, this is my Nespresso order. Now, I have... Three Bianco Legeros here, and I don't think anything was wrong with these, but I won't know until I actually open them up. I did open up this one to see if anything was wrong, and I'm going to explain to you why I did that. Okay, so this order was placed mainly because I wanted to try the new coconut pods right here. I wanted to try these, and then I also placed an order for a couple of other things. I got another sample of the Ice Legero and the Ice Forte. And I do 
already have both of these in full size, but I thought this would be nice if there's someone I know that has an espresso that maybe hasn't tried those. But here it was is what made me um, go ahead and give them a call. Now, my outside box was not damaged, as you could see. But when I opened up some of these capsules, guys, this is what I got. You see this right here? They were just like this in the box. This was nothing that I did to them. And this one almost looks like a dented fireman's hat. So I snapped pictures of these. And I told them um, which ones that were damaged. And I told them that the box on the Bianco Leggero seemed okay. Um, so I don't know about those until I open them. But they resent my whole order. So we're going to get into that. But this one right here appears to be okay. Now, they did tell me not to go ahead and try to use the ones that look like this to put them in the recycle bag because the machine may not read them. So that's why they sent me out another order for the ones I'm going to lose. This one right here, I felt like I could straighten out, but they said don't worry about it. So they resent my order. But I did tell them because I opened up the capsules and I counted and I said, you know, for example, like I had X amount of this number messed up, you know, X amount of the other. And they said, don't use these. So the ones like this are OK. And the ones like this, they want me to put into the recycle bag. So I don't think that I've used any of my Saleo and there's 10 capsules in there. So I'm only three capsules down. But because they looked like that, um... I think the first three of my Kiero were dented because these right here seem to be fine because I did put some into the bag, but I wanted to go ahead and get some out. I think only the first couple maybe of these might have been damaged. Um, and then this one right here, there was a few of these that were damaged. They said that this right here, because I said I wanted to lift this up and they said no, that the machine probably still would not read it correctly. There's dents right here. So these are all the ones that I'm supposed to put into the recycling bag. And then I think that my descaling kit is okay. Let me see. But I will say this. I did not like this coconut. Um, I was listening to Maison Molly. She wasn't that crazy about it either. So y'all know me. I said I'm hoping that the dented pods is what made it taste funny, but she got a laugh out of that. But I also got the descaling kit, and I don't think anything's wrong with that. But I wanted to get this because I heard people say that once the machine cuts off, um, it won't let you do anything with it if it's time for descaling until you do descale it. Next up, we have this Macy's order, and then we'll see what I got from Target. And I got a few new items from Target. So here I've got this little box cutter thing of mine, and I'm really hoping I don't do anything bad here because this little thing is sure. And I don't think this is an actual box cutter, guys. I'm a girl. So if y'all seen my video on this before, y'all know this is an actual utility knife that I am using for a box cutter. So I placed an order for some new lotion, the Philosophy Lotion, because I've heard a lot of people on YouTube talk about it. Plus, this was the perfumes that I was giving a co-worker of mine at work whose name is Grace, Miss Grace. So I wanted to go ahead and try this. Now, I wasn't lucky like some of you to be able to find this at Marshall's and TJ Maxx. I had to get this off of, I think, my Macy's account. But I do like this, so I wanted to make sure that I went ahead and got this. I do have an Amazing Grace set, and I have a friend that loves Amazing Grace, but I wanted to make sure I got Pure Grace. They did have this in Kohl's. And it was, let me see, I think the pump is lifted on this, guys. It doesn't appear to be used, but yeah, see how the pump is lifted? But it doesn't appear to be used. But they had it just like that in Kohl's, and they would not sell it to me at a discount. So I left it there. Now, I got some things from Target, and I want to share with you what those are. Here is the Mandarin wash that I had been talking about. Um, and this smells really, really good, too. It smells a little bit like the oil of Olay one did. That summer, it just smells like a summer orange. It smells really, really nice. And this is the Mango Mandarin. And then, guys, I saw these refills. These are just $2.39 because I think the actual Clean Freak is anywhere from $3.99 to $4.99. 
these refills were just $2.99 and apparently you can take the sprayer off because I threw my yellow one away at work and it emptied 100% guys I was wondering how the bottle was going to empty because even when I could see a little bit and it felt empty the sprayer still sprayed it sprayed 100% of the product out so I had no wasted product but I'm going to go ahead and reuse my lavender one if I wouldn't have threw that bottle away I would have tried to have detached it and did that but this is a nice alternative to buying a fresh bottle for just $2.39 you get a refill and these are the pot Todd Lord have mercy okay Tide pods I prefer the liquid Tide y'all know that but they mess with the washers at the laundromat that I go to and I just so happened to have had some Tide pods and I ended up using those they have those side are they called side whatever the ones are where instead of the drum being down like this it's up against the wall I hate those because your clothes fall out but I went ahead and got more of these I had a 20 pack and I had to get this 35 pack for $9.99 I don't know what the deal is with Target I know that they have families that shop in there but they're beginning to have bigger packs of things and sometimes I don't want a humongous gallon of stuff I just want a regular amount of stuff so I did go ahead and get these it was the smallest of what they had I picked up another one of these even though it's about to be summertime even though we wear a mask I feel like I still can catch colds from people and I have and I don't like it um but I wanted to make sure I got another one of these just because if it doesn't expire soon it expires 12 21 I'll go ahead and get a second one and put it up then I got another Dove body polish y'all heard me say I wanted to get another regular one I want at least three or four of the regular ones but I do have enough Dove scrub and I do realize that the only ones that I need to be after is the lavender and the kiwi if I can find a couple more of those and then I got one of the secrets that I want this one the unscented one is my staple whether it's secret whether it's sure whether it is dove the unscented one is my staple um I used to love soft and dry sport I think it was soft and dry sport I last was able to purchase that back in 1989 I don't even see soft and dry anymore if they still make it but that was a fantastic deodorant um, and I loved it a lot so that was my deodorant of choice then and I always prefer the solid to anything else but I do have I think a dove spray that I have around here I've not used it but I plan on it but I have the same one in solid so I do really like all three of these brands, but I prefer the unscented. And then as far as my next regular type scent, it's this vanilla and the cocoa butter. And then our next bag, I went ahead and got the Dove Lavender Bubble Bath because I didn't have that. But I do have the mango one and I do have that cocoa butter one. And I got the salt. So all I need as far as salts is the mango one because I did want to make sure I got the salts to this. This is something that my daughter loves, and I've since learned a lot of people on YouTube love it too. So I have the bar in this. I wanted to try this little bottle. She swears by this. I did used to like Castile soap. I don't know who made it, but it was in a white paper wrapper with red and blue on it, and I did. I tried it one time and loved the way it made my skin feel, but being young, I never paid attention to where I purchased it from, and I didn't go get any more, but I might try a bigger bottle of this, but she likes this, but I hear there's warnings about that peppermint mint one in our lady area so I need to be careful then guys I finally found June moon and I was going to get the lavender cubes but I wanted to get the watermelon too and I didn't want to get both because these were like $9.99 and I have enough stuff here but I will go back I had to specifically go to the Target on First Avenue to be able to get these so if they're there I'll go back they even had coconut like they had some that weren't online all I saw online were these two and I didn't get the lavender because I have the dove scrub but at the same time I also have the watermelon um, tree hut scrub but I'm do I do want to go back and they had the salts like separate salts to the coconut I might get those they had a champagne one but I definitely want to go back and get the lavender cubes so now I'm going to share with you what I got from Bath and Body Works before we get into the second coffee order to see what's going on there. So, as I said, I got my friend's gift from Bath and... I'm sorry, from Dillard's. From Dillard's. And what I got her was this little Brahmin. Um, I wanted to leave this on here. 
and this right here I wanted to get her something nice and thoughtful and not just something that I would like so what this is is a little Brahmin credit card thing and your ID and what's nice about this is if you just want to pull your ID out of your purse but you don't want to go through all your stuff you have this but you also have room for a few credit cards and you can put some money in here so I hope that she will like this and as you can see Brahmin is I don't exactly know are they alligator crocodile I don't know I used to not like their purses like I like the look of them but I didn't like them for me but Lord they have this one called Biscay or something like that um, and then I was also watching where um, little cute nurse got into Brahmin too and she had these real cute sunrise type colors so there's a turquoise one guys that's got my eye two purses and two wallets and a billfold so I don't know but I wanted to get this for her as a gift because I think she does or did carry Brahmin but I wanted a thoughtful gift and something that would last and then for myself I got like I said the reason why I said I got one of the 99 candles that I want y'all know that this is one of the candles that I wanted to get um, the cereal one that um, one that smells like fruity pebbles what is it whatever rainbow I'll probably get two of those but I just wanted one of each one so there's this one the um, apple pie one, the um, is it stars and stripes, the firecracker pop one because I missed out on that one before. So that's why I'm saying one of the 99 candles that I want. I think there's like 15 of these that I'm after, but I just went ahead and got one today. And then I got pocket bags. Now this is going to be a mix. This one is going to be for my friend because she too works in the medical field, guys. And I wanted to get her nice scent, so I got her an unscented and I got her this boardwalk vanilla cone here and then the rest of these are going to be for me a repeat in boardwalk vanilla cone for me a repeat in the citrus and sunshine another raspberry and a cotton candy cloud so this is going to my friend and I'm gonna pack this up so that it goes into that what is it the seven dollar box it used to be the five dollar box so I'm thinking I can mail it in a box like that and one of the girls that works in the store that talks to me all the time wanted to know about that blueberry snow cone candle whatever it's called because obviously I didn't look at the name she said that she wanted to get it but she wanted to wait to see what people were saying about it so I directed her to Miss Queen of the Geeks Miss Bonnie's channel I told her she was the one that I followed that lives in the state next door to me she's in Ohio I'm in Indiana and I said usually everything that they make and sell even the repeats she gets she reviews and she tells about it so while we were in the store I let her see Miss Bonnie's video so she's gonna go ahead and get that candle and give it a try and now we're gonna see what my second coffee order is guys and I kind of hate this oh my word you see that little buggy right there from my box being outside <laughs> They told me they were going to send me an extra pack of Bianco Leggero, and I don't need it because I have three, but here's how that went. She told me that she was sorry for what happened with my order, and she said, by the way, what is your favorite coffee from us? And I said, well, right now I'm really loving the Bianco Leggero. I just ordered three. Had I known that she was going to send me another coffee, I would have probably picked something that I haven't tried already just because I have three. I think I'm kind of good on this. I don't want no more. The other thing I kind of hate is even though I got a new one and I'm appreciative, I ain't too crazy about that coconut. Now, it's not bad, mind you. It just doesn't taste like coconut. Like, y'all know that I follow Coupon Girl as well, and I tried the great value because y'all know I don't do generic. But if y'all mention something and y'all like it, chances are I'll try it, generic or not. She talked about the coconut great value. Guys, I loved it then y'all know i tried that island coconut by green mountain i used my oatmeal pie creamer in there and then i eventually bought some coconut creamer i love that so i'll say this i'm going to wait till i do my syrup order and i am going to order some coconut syrup and i'm probably going to have to buy some more of this coconut cream pie creamer because I'm down so I will do that and then I'll try it out again and also I'll try different additives so it's not nasty per se 
not that. It just didn't have a coconut flavor to me. It had no coconut. It tasted more like something when you use things that have a coconut oil in them. Not oily, but I'm just trying to say, like when you use things and it says that it's infused with coconut, where you don't actually get the coconut flavor flavor. So, I don't know. But they did send me out new packs, and the new packs seem okay. Like, because my other ones, I knew something was up because, like, the pack, the box was dented in or something was wrong. So, we're going to look at this and see. Because I couldn't understand how the outside box was fine. So, yeah, see, these are okay. These are okay right off the jump. And this Kiara one, I found out later that I like it cold. Sorry about that, guys. Getting that. But yeah, see, these are okay right off the jump, and there wasn't ever anything wrong with this. So I do like that, and I thank Nespresso from that from the bottom of my heart because they didn't have to do that. You know, but they did, and I want to thank them. So, if you ever have any problem with your Nespresso coffees, you know that all you have to do is call them. Because what I did was, I called them. Did I call them? Yeah, I called them after I sent pictures to their Instagram page. Um, the messaging, not their page page, but like when you go in there and we can message each other. And so they reached back out to me and said that they saw where I had also contacted their customer service, which they were probably going to tell me to do that had I not done that, but it was late and I forgot that they have like a 24-hour thing. So I sent the photos first as proof, you know what I mean, so they could see. It wasn't something that I did. The outside box is fine, just like that one was, but it was so sweet of them to do this. So I've taken up y'all's time long enough. I want to thank you for watching. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. And I do know that some people have asked me to try out some things also a ring collection i have not forgot guys i have not forgot i'm going to be getting into that little bit by little bit but that is it until the next time everyone have a great day